I'm Erica. I definitely grew up wealthy and privileged. This is my tiara collection. I definitely think of myself as a princess. That's why I'm wearing my tiara, because it just helps me bring out my inner princess. My parents pay my rent. They give me an allowance. I spend most of my allowance maintaining my appearance. Now, you describe yourself as a princess. Yes. And you like attention. Yes. I think everyone's surprised that I'm in law school. I want to be like a younger, hotter version of Nancy Grace or Judge Judy. I have my own court show called Legally Erica. You say it cost a minimum of 10 grand to be you? A month? I think so, but I'm not sure. Erica wore a crown to remind people she was a princess. She had dreams of becoming a lawyer like Reese Witherspoon's character, Elle Woods, in her favorite movie, Legally Blonde. So whatever happened to Erica? I do think a lot in my life has changed since 2010. I'm an attorney now. I graduated law school. I passed my Texas bar exam, which is not easy if anyone knows anything about it. The bar exam is just no joke. Um, doesn't matter what background you come from, the bar exam is hard. And so I passed it. I'm really proud of myself. And I decided to start my own practice. So I do family law, but I also do entertainment and media law, and I have my master's in entertainment and media law, and I got that in LA. My law firm's called the Erica Rose Law Firm. I'm based out of Houston, but I do work in Dallas, Austin, and other places as well. Not only am I a lawyer, but I'm also a mother of two girls. I have a two and a half year old daughter, Holland, and I have a seven month year old, almost seven and a half months, year old daughter, Aspen, and so, I do try to be the best, most positive role model for them that I can be. And I want them to be proud of me and I want to set a good example. And I do think that I'm doing that as an attorney because I still also have time to be a great mom and I have a good husband and we have a, good, a healthy, good relationship. But I'm in no way am I submissive to him or subservient at all. And I think that's important. And I think that I won't be embarrassed if my daughters want to watch videos of me when I'm young and being funny because I'll explain to them that that was just me at a certain place choosing to act a certain way. But I do think that the number one change in any woman's life should hopefully happen when they become a mom because your life is no longer about you anymore. It's about this other person and the other person's relying on you for everything. And so I think probably the biggest change that happened to me was when I had my daughter Holland, honestly. And it taught me the greatest type of love that you can ever have. And then being a lawyer was probably the second biggest change, getting married somewhere in there, but not, I'm just kidding. It's important too. Finding love is very important. Finding someone that accepts you 100% for who you are and doesn't ask you to change is also really important. I have a podcast with my girlfriends who are also lawyers and moms, and it's called Legally Mom, which is appropriate since I love that movie. Um, legally Blonde, so it's kind of like a take on that, but we talk about, we don't just talk about ourselves, we talk about legal issues facing the world, such as the college admission situation, such as Ivanka Trump trying to develop better policies for working moms, because we're all working moms as well. I have two children um, that are young, and so it is difficult finding that work-life mom balance, and that's what our podcast is about. But yeah, I definitely want to expand that. Um, I've done so much reality TV since Dr. Phil that I don't think it's a goal of mine to say, oh, I just want to do reality TV because I got tired of that. So I feel that it's really important for me to incorporate myself as a lawyer. And I am a lawyer and I take that very seriously. And so in anything I do going forward, it will have to be about that somewhat. Um, even if we decide to expand Legally Mom into a reality show, you know, whatever we do. But my identity is the lawyer. Like, I'm never going to not be a lawyer, God willing. You know, I work so hard to become one. So it's being a lawyer, being a mom, I'm married, you know, that's all part of my identity. Having been on The Bachelor, still part of my identity because people still recognize and know me from that. I think I learned that even though I never took anything too seriously when it came to, um, you know, acting a certain way or playing up that princess character, other people took it very, very seriously and were greatly offended by it or dramatically upset about it, you know, and personally angered over it. And so I felt that I didn't want to excite that type of reaction in people any longer. And that as 
now an attorney, then a future attorney, um, it wasn't necessary to have that type of image anymore. And it wasn't healthy for me either or accomplishing any of my goals. So I feel like I decided then and there that I wanted to be able to portray myself differently as who I really am. Um, you know, like I said at the time, I enjoyed looking how I like to look. I mean, I'm a little less blonde now, but other than that, you know, I, I was happy being myself, but it's tiring to have other people to take such offense to it. So I think that I learned to kind of downplay a little bit my background, which really isn't anything that out of the ordinary compared to so many people. So it wasn't necessary to play it up. I also think a big lesson is that people need to focus on themselves more than they should focus on other people. Like set your own goals, set your own priorities and go after them because you only have one life and to spend your time sitting around, you know, upset that someone else came from a different background than you or that someone else is doing something that you're not doing, that's a waste of your time and energy. Instead, you need to focus your energy on to creating your own goals and accomplishing those. I just think that people shouldn't worry about the way someone used to be because in life, it's not about where you were, it's about where you're going and where you are now, living the present not the past. I'm not really regretful or embarrassed or sad about anything I did in the past because I'm really happy with where I am today.